So I spent two weeks using my TV as a PC monitor. And this is what I found out. In terms of costs, TVs are way cheaper than PC monitors. So why are many people not using TVs? And is it even doable? The short answer is yes. But only if you're using them as a short-term solution. Using a TV has a few drawbacks. For starters, TVs have a low pixel density, which means they were designed with a view that audiences will be sitting a few meters away from the TV set. However, when you're using a TV as a PC monitor, you're seated maybe half a meter or less. At that distance, you will be able to see the individual pixels on the screen. I tested with my 1920 by 1080p TV, which is 42 inches, meaning that the pixel density is 52.45 ppi. Now, to put it into perspective, the iPhone 16 has 460 pixels per inch, meaning that if you're going to be using your television as a monitor, maybe you're doing graphics, then it might not be ideal. But I'm not sure if I can say the same about a 4K monitor. I only tested on a 1080p monitor. Now, if you're heavy on gaming, like me, the low refresh rates on TVs will frustrate you. Most TVs have a 60 Hz refresh rate, including the one that I'm testing. Now, for those who don't know, a refresh rate basically is the number of times a TV or a screen refreshes. The more the refresh rate, the smoother the content. Let me just put it that way. Now, moving from my 144 Hz PC monitor, I could feel the difference. Even the input lag was there. Plus, there was a lot of motion blur and screen tearing as well. But if you're on a budget, do these things really matter? Now, I also tried color grading my video footage using the TV, and all I can say is that it can get very tricky. Now, most TVs support sRGB and uh, DCI-P3 color profiles. The extent of the accuracy is the bigger question. I noticed that the colors I would view on the TV would be a bit different from when viewed on other devices, which is not a problem I was getting with my PC monitor. Now, most PC monitors have uh, above 90% color accuracy. So give or take, you won't be lost in terms of color. Now, one thing you should also consider about using a TV is that it draws more power. That means you'll be using up more electricity. So if the electric bills is something that you're worried about, then you better stick with the PC monitor. Now, another thing to consider as well, if you want to use your TV as a PC monitor, this especially applies to when you're using maybe an OLED uh, TV, is uh, when you have a static image or for a prolonged time, there's something that can happen called screen burn in. This is when an image is permanently imprinted on your TV, which is a permanent discoloration of the screen. And unlike monitors, for some reason, electric components have a higher tendency of failing on TVs. But then again, when you start using a TV, I guess just like anything in life, you end up getting used to it. I ended up enjoying the bigger screen. And I say to myself, I think I need to invest in a bigger screen, uh, even if it's a PC monitor, right? But for the most part, um, the experience can get hectic. Uh, I don't know, for the past weeks, for the past two weeks, that's when I started experiencing like some eye strain. Maybe it's the distance that I was close to the television. So yeah, if you're going to be using a TV, maybe as a temporary solution, no problem. But if you think of a permanent solution, I don't think it's ideal. But uh, anyway, it was enjoyable playing games there and viewing content. That is what it is like living with a TV as a PC monitor. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.